Fifth grade, this is part two of our monster drawing. So today we're going to get into our sketchbooks and those monsters that we created last week. We are going to add some details to them, some textures and uh, some different things like that. Some coloring, possibly even some background. We'll see how much time we have for that. All right. So let's get it going. All right. Open up your sketchbooks to uh, the monster that we created last week. And... We are going to add, we've just basically got our outline drawing, so we are going to add some other features to it. Now, we want to start thinking about how we want to um, represent the body and the feet and the hands, things like that. Uh, but I think first, let's go ahead and start working on getting a face in. And so, uh, however you want that to be, whether, um, you know, maybe they've got a certain nose quality to them. Uh, I'm going to go with some teeth, I think, for my monster. And then um, we'll go with some oval-shaped eyes here. Um, can't tell whether he's happy or he's going to be mad, but I think we'll go happy monster for this one. We'll give him some big pupils. All right. Now, as far as the fur goes, we don't have to go in and draw fur or if it's feathers or if it's scales. I don't think we need to represent that stuff with the pencil. We can start doing that kind of thing with the color pencil. All right. Now, when we add that in, we want to um, use different colors uh, or different values in the color. So if I had purple, let's say, for his arms and I wanted to show the fur, um, even though I don't have several purples, I can uh, use the purple in a couple different ways. So as I'm drawing fur, I want to think about how fur uh, grows here. And so we have uh, some lines a certain uh, length. And so we have to consider that. If you don't want the white of the paper to show through, kind of like we've got going on uh, down in here, then uh, give yourself a light very very light base color so if I want this to be uh, more purple than white if you want that white to show through that's fine but I'm gonna go in with a light shading trying to cover up as much of the paper as possible some white is still gonna go in but at least you have a base tone a base color for your monster, whether wherever you're at, the arm, the leg, the body. All right, so I'm moving kind of quick. Take a little bit more time than I'm doing here, uh, but you'll see my lines are going in the same direction. Uh, I'm kind of shading it in the way that the hair is going to go. I didn't want to go up and down because I wasn't going to have the hair uh, showing up that way. So I went in with my base coat and then um, with a series of dark and light lines, I'm going to, so I'm pushing hard on some of these. I can go soft on some of these, but I really want to show that fur on that arm. Now, if I don't want this hard outline, then I'm going to go in and give it a little bit of an erasing because I may want the fur to be its outline instead of the pencil. All right. And I can do that all the way here and I can let my color pencil kind of help with defining that so uh, it looks a little fuzzier now which is good I'm going to you know get a little bit more sporadic maybe with some of my fur lines and then I'm gonna have just a few kind of come off the edges so now it doesn't have that hard outline feel to it. It's going to start to show uh, the different fur. And I'm glad I made the call of putting the, uh, the purple underneath first. I really didn't want it to be too, too white. I wanted it to be more of a purple tone. And so I'm not pushing very hard with these. I still got kind of a, of a hard line here. So I'm going to try to erase that up because I want that fur to kind of go onto the hand. I can always go back and add darker lines, but it is tough 
to get rid of some of those darker lines. So I think where this area, the thick, thicker area is, is going to be a little darker in here. And then uh, I'm just gonna shade the hand, give it more of a skin quality. I may uh, darken that area near the fur because as the fur covers up over the hand, it's going to have a little bit of a shadow. All right. Watching you guys, uh, the guys in class draw these is quite impressive um, with their measurements and how well their imaginations kind of ran wild. So I'm just getting a light tone in there. Again, I'm not a big fan of letting my pencil lines show through, so I'll probably have to go in and do a little bit of shading. Um, I tried to get at least two tones of the purple here, so I've got a little light, i got a little dark. But I'm also going to go in with um, my black and add a little bit of shading with the black. I don't want to just go straight jet black in here. Um, but I'm just going to lightly go over that purple to give that purple a little bit darker tone. And I can even go in over some of these lines as well. And down in this end. And start to darken them up. So just by going over that purple, I'm making it more of a dark purple. So I've got, I've added another color. I've got a light purple, regular purple, and now I'm going in with a darker purple. And don't be afraid to go back with some of those colors. I can even go in with a little bit of white. I know I didn't want the white of the paper showing, but going over with a little bit of white is going to blend these a little bit more. And so then I'm going to start to get a, a decent texture uh, for my monster arm. So I'm gonna continue working with this, all right? Uh, just think about what colors you want down. Uh, I may even try to uh, show some different examples of some different textures in here so that you can see that. I have a lot of fur going on uh, and I may stick with that theme but you really have to think about what you're putting down and then um, if you can get a base color in it looks a whole lot better if you can have that underneath when you go to layer the other colors on top. All right, Have some fun, I'll be back in a minute. Alright for fun I decided that I would try a um, kind of more of an armor type texture instead of the fur so I kind of went in with I guess they kind of look brick like I was thinking of some scales and then uh, I kind of drew them like this where they were just kind of flat bricks uh, but now I'm trying to give them a little bit of some darker purple around the edges and I've been going in with the um, with the black just a little bit to give them a little bit more depth so that they kind of look kind of bumpy. Um, I'm just kind of experimenting, but I wanted to show you guys a different type of texture on here so that you don't get stuck just doing fur if you don't want to. Uh, scales would be kind of cool. I could have given them uh, a scallop or a rounded kind of edge to it, and those would have looked more fish-like. Um, I thought maybe he could have fur for his arms and legs, maybe the face and then uh, more of a harder skin type for the body and the hands. So uh, I've been working on that. I'm gonna go and uh, continue on this, probably add in my fur, and uh, you guys have fun uh, coming up with your different textures for them, and then um, we'll go from there, okay? Fifth grade, go ahead and finish up with your uh, monster and uh, adding those textures in and those beautiful colors. I don't think we're going to worry about a background uh, for any of this. And then uh, Miss Deanna and I are going to figure out how we are going to maybe display some of these. So I've got a couple ideas uh, for you guys at home. Send me some pictures. Uh, my email should be on the um, Google Classroom of your teacher, okay? And um, I'd love to see those different monsters. I love seeing the uh, beginning sketches of what you guys are doing. You're sending great emails, by the way. Um, uh, enjoy getting them and uh, keep them coming. Okay? Uh, miss you guys at home. 
can't wait to you guys are with us soon and keep drawing and keep being creative and we'll see you next week